welcome to the deeper life bible church singles this is another episode of reason you should not get married and we're going to jump right into the video but we want to say welcome to our new subscribers and all our family members who are subscribers i'm talking to those people in europe the americas Canada, any country that's not their country. If you're an immigrant somewhere, you went to study and after your studies, you want to stay back, but you do not know how to go about it. And some men know that you have a need, which is you want to have a citizenship or you want to have working papers or you want to have a permanent residence or you want to have a green card or you want to you want you want to have what in france they call vpv familial i mean it's just a paper that allows you to stay uh on his, without carrying the student status you want to change your status don't marry because of papers that's what i want to say don't marry because of papers that's not god's will for you okay i know what i'm talking i'm talking from experience here i've been in a country where i was a student and there were a lot of things that were thrown at me there was a lot of bling bling so many people so many um foreign students immigrants like me were at that time marrying because um because they needed papers they were just marrying they call that marriage a marriage of convenience they're marrying because it was necessary. They need to have the papers to stay without this fear or this uncertainty that comes with a student paper. But that's not a good reason to get married. Because you, you get married to this person, you're stuck to this person, and this person feels like I gave you papers and you begin to do things that you wouldn't have done. You forget that you're a Christian. Your spirit man tells you that what you're doing is wrong. But you, you are doing it because you have to please this person that you got married to. Or you know that according to your beliefs, you cannot have a divorce. And you're trying now to stay in this marriage, uh, to make this marriage work. Knowing uh, fully well that this marriage did not even start on the note of love or um, God's direction or will of God or any of those good reasons why you should be getting married. And you begin to do things that you shouldn't be doing. I'm not going to mention some of those things that some of these ladies have to do to keep this man. Some of these men are, they do some very not good things. Sometimes they even, some of these ladies have to, have to, they have to do some kind of, I don't want to mention it. Like they do very bad things. You know, just because they have to stay in this marriage and this man is telling them that, okay, it's just a marriage of convenience and uh, you can you can work for me uh, because you're not the only lady that I, that, that I have like this. I do this, I divorce the ladies and then I, I become free for the next lady that needs to pay me to get married to me. Okay, they, do, they pay money and they get married to these people. Don't do it. Don't pay money to marry somebody and tell yourself that God understands that this was not a real marriage, but that this marriage was just done because we need papers. No. If unfortunately for you, this person was never married and you are the first person getting married to them, even if you, even if you guys get divorced and he takes his money and you guys go your separate ways because you've gotten your paper in the sight of God, you are married to that person. That's why you need to be very careful. The fact that you are in a, a foreign country and that you've not gotten your papers does not mean that you wouldn't get your papers. Where is your faith? Have faith. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. He is on the throne. No matter the circumstance, no matter what the immigration office has told you, no matter what the prefecture has said to you, no matter what the, uh, the, the, the government has said to you, no matter the state where you find yourself, 
God will make a way for you. You don't have to get married to be stuck in a marriage because you want your papers. Papers. It's just on this part of the world. Think about your soul. What shall it profit you if you gain the whole world and you lose your soul? What can you give in exchange for your soul? Life is short. You don't know when. When, the, when, 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 when life will end on this side of eternity. Why would you do that kind of a thing? Please, ladies. Please, men. Men are now doing it too. They get married to very elderly women who say they've never gotten married and, or who have gotten married and they, they've divorced and then they have to marry these people because of papers. Please don't do it. Don't do it. That's the wrong reason to get married. So these are the few reasons that I have here. So God created marriage and God's purpose for marriage is different from all these things. God had a purpose that marriage is for, you know, is the first institution that God created. You know, after he created man, God created marriage. You know, after God created, you know, everything in the world and created man, then he brought a woman. He, cre he, he, he made this, he created the, the concept of marriage. And it's an important, important, important institution to God. And the devil is fighting marriages. And that's why the rate of divorce among Christians is increasing every day. And some of the reasons why Christians are getting divorced is because they are going uh, about it the wrong way. They are marrying for bad reasons, for wrong reasons, as against the principles of God, as against the Christian principles about marriage. And that's the reason why we're going to stop here. Uh, next time we're going to talk about reasons why you should get married, good reasons why you should get married. But today we stop at these few reasons that we have enumerated to let you know that if you are doing any of these things, you need to back out and back out quick. God bless you. I am praying for you. But before I, I go, I'm going to leave you with this passage of the scriptures. Psalm chapter 24 from verse 1. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world is and they that dwell therein. So the whole world is God, and everything that is in there, every man and woman, we belong to God. We are God's like, all that dwelling on this earth, it's the Lord's. And God knows where your partner is located. Be patient, commit your way to God, commit your marriage to God, Commit your relationship to God. Commit your desires to God. And don't forget to praise and thank him if there is any delay whatsoever. God will bring to pass all that he has promised concerning you. Every gate of hindrance, every gate of opposition, every gate of delay will be lifted up so that the king of glory can come in. So that the king of glory can come and take precedence preeminence in your marital life, in your marital journey, and you would have a marriage that is heaven on earth. That's my heart desire for you, and that's my prayer for you. I am praying for you. Please do well to subscribe to this channel and share this video with your loved ones, with as many people as you know who might be in this situation so that they can also benefit from these facts about reasons why you should not get married. God bless you. Until next time, goodbye.